Hi everyone and welcome to SWPL My Story Short and today we're joined by Megan Sidey. How are you? I'm not too bad, how are you? Yeah, I'm great, thanks. Are you enjoying the, the international break? Is there any let up for you at club level? Yeah, loving it, loving it. Um, it's, it's been good for the girls just to get a wee rest, so yeah. Good stuff. So uh, it was a, a change for you at the beginning of the season. Uh, you've been at Saints for a long time, but you decided <laughs> the time was right to move to Dundee United. So how have you found that transition? Yeah, no, it was always going to be a difficult decision leaving Saints, you know. Um, it's my childhood club, but you know you know when the time's right to go. And, you know, Harry came in for me and it was just an opportunity I couldn't turn down. And since I've been in, like the girls have been great with me. It's the standard is unbelievable. Like the demands that get put on you in training, like nothing I've ever experienced before. But it's it's great. It's been good. That's great. So um, it's been a a difficult start to the season for you, but you seem to be starting to build momentum um, as the the games went on up until the international break. When you've got your your draw against Hibs and then you got your win against Aki's. Is that how it's felt within the camp? It's been it's been a difficult start to the season, you know. We got a new like a lot of new players in, um, and we were just kind of looking to gel. And even towards like the start of the season, first couple of games, we were still getting bodies in. So, you know, we were just looking to gel. And obviously, with me and Emma going out as well, it's kind of a setback. So I, th- I felt like we were just getting a bit comfortable, you know, with the start of eleven, and then we've had a couple of blows. But I think this break will do as well. Um, we'll have the chance to regroup. We'll have the chance to get a wee break and. You know, get to know each other a wee bit better, have a wee team bond, and get back off the mark and go again. They're some of the best bits of playing football. I know. <laughs> uh, so you just touched on it there. It was something I was going to talk to you about. So, um, in the first win of the season uh, against Aki's, you managed to pick up an injury, um, but it's now transpired. It's probably more serious than first thought. So, how have you been going through that? How you found your rehab? It's it's one of the things that you know it's it's gotten obviously to move to a new club and pick up an injury. It's it seems like my career's just been peppered by injuries, but um, it's nothing that I've not come back from before. Um, and the team, the the rehab, the everyone's been great, the support. So I couldn't have asked for anything better, to be honest. So how long is it expected you to be out for before you get the gloves back on? I had my surgery on Monday on my ankle, so. I'm not too sure. We're just kind of setting short-term goals just now, just because, you know, there's no point in setting something long when you don't actually know when you might be disappointed. So, yeah. But it's 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 not looking too bad. But we'll, we'll have to wait and see. No. So, you, you said there you're going to get a chance to regroup um, as a unit and then plan ahead going forward. So, what are the what are the, the plans at the moment for, for the team? Well, it's just obviously this this current week is just to relax a wee bit. I mean, the girls are way off today, paintball, and I can't join because I'm obviously <laughs> crutches and I'm in boot. But yeah, it's just to go and have a wee bit of fun just now, get to know each other a bit better, um, and then come back refreshed and go again. Um, improve on some of the results. I think we were quite disappointed with a couple of results could could have took something away from. But you know, there's some games as well that we look at and we're like, you know what, like. That shows we've got a real promise this season. You know, that no no against Hibs was something else on the pitch. Like the togetherness was unreal. So we just need to take things, games like that, and just use them going forward and put them into more games. So yeah. Yeah, there's definitely a lot to build on as as I've obviously watched the, the season progress. Um and you're you are seeing that not not just from Dundee United, but from pretty much every team in the league that it's particularly the newer the newer teams or the teams where there's been quite an overhaul of, of personnel that there is a, a gelling period, but you can start to see things are clicking into place. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. It's good it's good to see, to be honest. And it's like it's a good feeling in the camp to, you know, come into training and just see everyone buzzing to see each other. So yeah. Oh, that's great, Megan. And thanks for joining us this morning. And I hope that your recovery goes well <laughs> and we can see you back in the pitch as soon as possible. <laughs> Thank you very much for having me on. Uh thanks everyone for joining us on SWPL My Story Short.